It's long been a mission for us to actually open a shop in Jersey. We've been actively looking for about two years to find premises that were going to suit our needs. And I think you'll agree we have found the most perfect location. It's going to be a real destination shop for us. We've opened a lot of shops of late, but actually nothing quite like this one. Such a great location, just opposite like a street and boots, and we'll have great footfall. And so I wanted to take this opportunity to thank everybody for their support, um, particularly the shop teams. We've had shop managers from um, over in, in the UK come to help us, area managers, all helping to make the shop look as stunning as you see it tonight. Um, and I just really want to say then that it gives me great pleasure, I don't want to talk any longer, to hand over to Sir Philip Balesh, who as um, obviously you all know, um, and he is the bailiff and you know that too, and he's kindly agreed to say a few words. <laughs> and then um, Lady Balesh is over here, she's yep. going to cut the ribbon for us. So thank you very much for coming, and I'll hand over to you by mail. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great privilege uh, and a pleasure to have been asked to perform this small uh, duty. Can I say first of all how much I admire all those hardy representatives of the uh, Red Cross who are wearing no overcoats, uh, no uh, <laughs> scarves, who are obviously completely relaxed and easy in this near zero temperature that we are in. <laughs> Jersey has a very warm and close relationship with the uh, Red Cross, which, um, as uh, has been said, goes back to the uh, time in 1944 when the SS Vega brought food parcels and relief to a starving population. Now, we're told that um, by the uh, medical officer of health um, that, uh, in fact, our problem these days is not so much um, uh, not having enough to eat, but rather eating uh, too much. Um, but uh, nevertheless, the uh, memory of the SS Vega and the historical link to the Red Cross is still very important. And the Red Cross remains one of Jersey's uh, favorite charitable institutions. So I'm delighted to have been asked to open this shop in the heart of St. Helia and in one of the main streets of the town. And I hope that it will be hugely successful and raise large sums of money for the organization. There can be um, very few people in the island who uh, have not heard of the Red Cross and the Red Crescent and who are not aware of the organization's ability to move uh, efficiently and rapidly to provide relief um, in disaster areas. When the side-by-side uh, -side charity was formed in the aftermath of the Asian tsunami in uh, uh, 2005, we uh, sat around a table in my office deciding how to apply the proceeds. And there was really not uh, much uh, discussion about it. We had no idea that uh, a staggering £2 million was going to be raised, but we knew that with the Red Cross, whatever money was raised, uh, wherever uh, it, uh, whatever it was, would be wisely and uh, sensibly deployed. The uh, humanitarian tradition and the determination to help people in crisis without regard to politics or religion or ethnic origin are also facets of the Red Cross with which we um, in Jersey with our multicultural community and long established and sturdy independence uh, can readily identify. So it's particularly pleasing too if I may say so that links have been uh, established with the Social Security Department and the uh, Jersey government's recycling officer. The first will give um, opportunities for uh, finding work experience for those wanting to re-enter the, uh, the world of work. And uh, the second will enable us to move, um, I think, more quickly along the recycling path down which we've been rather slow to advance. I wonder if I might, just before the formalities are uh, completed, uh, if I might draw attention to um, a small error in the categorization of uh, Jersey and the Channel Islands in the regional 
organisation of the Red Cross. We are placed in the Wales and Western England territory, <laughs> but I'm afraid that neither geographically nor constitutionally are we an English uh, county, nor, Mr. Morgan, much as we love the Welsh, <laughs> are we of Wales. May I respectfully request that the region be redesignated as Wales, Channel Islands, and West of England territory. <laughs> so it is a, a privilege to have been asked to uh, open the first Red Cross shop in Jersey. I hope that it is successful in raising very substantial funds for the organisation and that it makes a, a really sterling contribution to the humanitarian work which is being done by the Red Cross in so many parts of the world, wherever indeed there is a need. So thank you very much. I have great pleasure in declaring the Red Cross shop uh, duly open. I will ask my wife to come and slip the, uh, the ribbon. Yeah. It's a really nice window display as well, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. 